The average performer will never get the chance to star in a Broadway show. These are the stories of a college music theater program, its teachers, and their students who are anything but average and whose chances just got a whole lot better. And when you decide that you've had enough, you'll shut down. But we will just continue to push you along, again, because where we want to see you at the end of this four-year growth cycle. And beyond. It's about achieving excellence in your craft, working at a very high level, learning those skills, and taking what you learn here and trying it out against the highest level of theatrical activity that exists in the United States, which is Broadway. What do I do when I don't get cast? It's one thing if I'm in New York City and I'm working and I'm going on to my next audition and my next you know, equity principal or open call or whatever and I don't see those people ever again. There's a different feeling in a program where we live together every single day. All right, And there's a kind of cast, no pun intended, system like the people that do get cast, the ones that don't, yeah, ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba So what do, how do I live in this environment, all right? The one thing to remember is casting, despite what everybody believes, is not personal. It is a professional decision that is made in the audition room among a creative team of people led by the director. And understanding the demands of the, the role versus what you bring to the table, type has a lot to do with it. This is a lot of information you already know. But if you actually look at how many considerations go into casting a show, it really is impossible, unless you've got just something you're working out personally, to take any of this personally. There are so many reasons not to, but however, we still do. Why? We're all human, and in this field, we're going to face a lot of challenges, and one of those is uh, insecurity, definitely, and self-doubt. And so when you don't you know, accomplish that goal, immediately you go like, what did I do? What was wrong with me? I worked so hard. I practiced so hard. And so initially, you want to go and just beat yourself up and add extra pressure. But that's OK for two seconds, but then you just got to move on and say, OK, next thing. What's next?
every directing opportunity is a teaching opportunity at this place. Everything you do in that theater is an opportunity to instruct. This place kind of has heart. It's different. The kind of kid you get here, they have heart. You can't teach that. It's there or it's not. But I can work with that. I sure as hell can work with that if it's there. It's Someone here that you know we've been waiting a very long time for the arrival of. Uh, please join me in welcoming Anna Maria D'Antonio. Just be patient. I'm new. I've only been here 12 days. I'm getting used to it. Um, we're going to have a good time. It's. I'm, I've got a structure that I've got to work with this year, but that structure is we're going to blow the seams off that building. So we've got a lot to learn, and we're going to learn together, and I am very, very excited about this adventure. As are we. The freshmen, we want them to immediately belong. So not just kind of feel as though there's a it's this vague, nebulous thing called a program they belong to, but that there's an individual they can invest in and who will in turn invest in them. This is a big year for the seniors. It's a really big year for the seniors. A lot of transitions happen. So keep your eye on them, if you can. Just keep your eye on what's going on. Really watch the journey the seniors go on, all of you, but sp specifically the freshmen, so you can really set that goal in motion early. If we can personalize it as much for them as possible, because they find that when the relationships start to, to develop, they feel that this place becomes more real. I'm from Strongsville, Ohio. I'm Rachel Brawley, and I'm from Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Sophie Brown, and I'm from Defiance, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Brown. Well, I love cheese, and like, <laughs> when I get like cottage cheese or sour cream, which isn't cheese. <laughs> Arthur. 